The following video will lead you step by step through the proper use, storage, and handling of the Poloratec One Hour Rapid Urease Test Kit. Developed by the Serum Research Corporation of Elkhart, Indiana, the Poloratec test strips have been highly acclaimed for their ease of use and quick, accurate results. As you follow the simple procedures outlined in this video, you'll understand why the Poloratec test kit is the smart choice for the presumptive indication of H. pylori. The major features of the Poloratec test kit include final results for 100% of patients within one hour, a reactive positive control and negative control on every test strip. Each strip holds up to three biopsy specimens from a single patient. The test strip is stored and the test is performed at room temperature. And clinical sensitivity and specificity is greater than 96%. How does the test work? The Poloratec test is a rapid urease test based on patented dry reagent technology. The Poloratec test detects urease, which is produced in large quantities by Helicobacter pylori. The enzyme is used as a tracer for the presence of the bacteria. Urea in the Poloratec substrate pad reacts with urease in an H. pylori positive biopsy to create ammonia gas. And ammonia gas passes through the semi-permeable membrane and causes a dark blue or purple color to appear on the yellow matrix directly above the H. pylori infected biopsy. Always store unopened Poloratec kits in a refrigerator. Allow all kit components to come to room temperature, 15 to 30 degrees Celsius, 59 to 86 degrees Fahrenheit, before opening for the first time. Always replace the bottle cap immediately after removing a Poloratec test strip. Do not remove strips from the bottle until ready for use. Always lay the strip on a clean, dry surface. Do not put an opened kit back into the refrigerator. Open kits should be stored at room temperature and in a dry area, away from direct sunlight or heat sources to avoid degradation. The Poloratec test kit consists of four simple steps. Once you have determined that a rapid urease test is required, Remove a test strip from the bottle. Make sure the positive control spot is present and lay on a clean, dry surface. Write the patient name or identification number and the time the biopsy is taken on the lines provided on the front of the test strip. Turn the strip over and crease at the perforation. Add four drops of hydration reagent to the substrate pad, the absorbent pad opposite the reaction pad with the red positive control spot. One drop in each quadrant is usually enough. Using a clean applicator stick, plastic pick, or any other suitable accessory, push the gastric specimen from the forceps onto the reaction pad. The gastric specimen should be placed at least six to seven millimeters from the red positive control spot, which is visible on the reaction pad. At the doctor's option, one, two, or three gastric specimens from the same patient can be placed on the pad. Keep the specimens placed at least 6 to 7 millimeters apart to ensure that each reaction can be viewed separately. When your gastric specimens are in place, immediately fold the substrate pad on top of the reaction pad and insert the folded strip into the plastic pouch or reaction chamber. Be sure the yellow side of the reaction pad is visible and faces out. Within 60 minutes, examine the yellow reaction pad for the appearance of intense dark blue or purple color over an infected specimen. The purple positive control should always appear in the upper right-hand corner, below the plus sign. The positive control spot usually appears in 4 to 10 minutes, but may occasionally take longer. Most positive patient specimens appear in less than 20 minutes. Some very strong positives may appear in one to two minutes. A positive result may appear any time up to the full 60 minutes. For a confirmed positive, both the specimen and the positive control have to show an intense blue-purple color. Always wait the full 60 minutes before listing a patient's result as negative. The Poloratec quick reference chart shows typical positive and negative reactions. This chart is available free of charge from Serum.
A positive result is the development of an intense dark blue or purple color directly over the biopsy specimen. As you can see in this picture, the dark color can cover the entire biopsy or only part of the biopsy specimen, or present a stippled pattern. Even a small but readily visible area of dark purple or blue is a positive. The positive control spot must be dark blue or purple for the test to be valid. A negative result is confirmed only at the end of one hour. The positive control spot must always be dark blue or purple as shown. The area immediately above the biopsy specimen will show no color change or infrequently may show a light blue or pale gray shadow as seen here. The appearance of these shadows or footprint patterns are still considered negative results. One of the most important features of the Polaritech test strip is that every test strip has a reactive positive control and negative control. The presence of these are to show the procedure has been followed correctly and that the test strip has not been improperly stored or handled. For example, do not allow the strips to remain outside the bottle for extended periods before use. Do not return strips exposed to humidity or strips which have been dampened with hydration reagent back into the bottle. And never remove the desiccant pack from the bottle. Unlike gel or liquid rapid urease tests, the Polaritech user does not have to perform any extra steps to run a positive or negative control. The positive reactive control spot on a Polaritech test strip is dried urease, which is visible as a red spot. The positive reactive control must turn dark purple or blue on every strip for the test to be valid. The negative control is any area of the yellow membrane where there is no biopsy specimen or a reactive positive control spot. It is recommended that the user should select a specific area of the test strip to be the negative control area. For example, the upper right hand corner is a convenient location. Never put a specimen in this area. The negative control area should remain yellow. Except for blue or purple color below the plus sign and above an infected specimen, or an occasional light blue or gray shadow directly above the biopsy specimen, the yellow area should always remain unchanged in color. If the entire yellow area of the test strip turns a solid or patchy blue, as seen here, open a new bottle of test strips and repeat the test. This blue patchy color will only appear if the Polaritech strips are exposed to humidity, heat, or ammonia fumes. Possible sources of ammonia are smelling salts and cleaning liquids, which often contain ammonia. Possible causes of the positive control not developing may include the user forgot to apply rehydration reagent. Always be sure the substrate pad is damp before closing the strip. The user did not use the reaction pouch or reaction chamber to hold the strip during the one hour period. Devices such as tape or paper clips used to hold the folded strip allow ammonia to escape from the strip. The positive control spot can be rubbed off with pressure from a latex glove or when exposed to high humidity levels. Do not touch the control spot while preparing the strip. Remember to always place the strip in the reaction pouch or reaction chamber and incubate at room temperature. Do not remove the strip from the pouch or chamber or open the strip until after the 60 minute final reading or a confirmed positive result. Do not put the strip and reaction pouch in your pocket. It contains potentially infectious biopsy material and there is no need to use body heat to speed up the reaction. Polaritech has several distinct advantages over other rapid urease tests using gel or liquid media. The patented Polaritech method allows the urea urease and ammonia detection reaction to take place in separate optimal environments. The final result is available in one hour, allowing discussion of the results with the patient before they leave the clinic area. Most positives appear in 20 minutes or less. The Polaritech reactive positive control is present on every test and runs automatically. Polaritech also has a negative control in every test that also runs automatically without extra steps or reagents. Some investigators have reported that due to the patchy distribution of H. pylori in the stomach, 
two or three biopsies from several areas of the stomach can increase chances of a correct diagnosis. If you choose to take extra biopsies, up to three specimens from the same patient can be placed on a single Polaritex strip, with separate, distinct results for each biopsy. In four published studies in major journals, Polaritech has been shown to meet the most widely accepted sensitivity and specificity criteria for H. pylori diagnosis in gastric biopsy. In carefully controlled studies involving over 500 patients, Polaritech, when compared to at least two reference methods, showed Polaritech's average clinical specificity is greater than 97%, and its clinical sensitivity is greater than 96%. This is not data from a single selected study, which shows the best results from one institution, but a summary from all the institutions which have done studies comparing Polaritech to reference methods. Two additional papers are available, including a pediatric study. Ask a serum representative for copies of journal reprints or other clinical studies.